Okay, Capcom, give me a green light. We're go for LOI. Roger. Crew standing by to take minus two in the checklist. Fido. Go. Guide. Go. Telcom. Go. GNC. Go. Econ. Go. Surgeon. Go. O and P. AFD. We set out to investigate the structural integrity of our rocket during its flight. Our specific goal was to accurately determine flight apogee through the use of multiple sensor models. So it's five so points. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to make it as narrow as this? Whatever half of 3.3 is, you put it on 50%. You should attach those first, but protect them from the paint when you do paint them. We're actually measuring a magnetic field. This is an unusual sensor. Most of the sensors we have in the lab are analog. This one's digital, so it's communicating over serial with a microprocessor, which is on the board. The magnetic field is not going to change a whole lot as far as the magnitude of it when we're uh, flying our rocket. So we're going to look at the orientation of the, magnet, of the magnetic field, which will in fact change based on the spin of the rocket. Three main sensors on our rocket. We have uh, differential pressure sensors, which determine the velocity of the rocket. We have an absolute pressure sensor, which determines the altitude. And we have an accelerometer, which tells us the acceleration of our rocket. Risk Spring Day in Lucerne Valley. Right now, we're, we're great. It's only 10 to 15. It's, it's flickering right now. Now, see, that's not great when it goes up to 25. Okay, wind looks okay at the moment. Going in five, four, Three, two, one. That's a pretty flight. That's what they're supposed to do. Five, four, three, two, one. Your, your guess is as good as mine. Oh, there we go. Three, two, one. The motor was packed incorrectly, so the ejection charge that's supposed to push the parachute out went off way, way, way too early made our rocket spin around in circles um, and kind of light on fire. Fortunately, we have temperature sensors in here, so we're probably going to get some very interesting data. Part of the purpose of the class is to help the students learn what it's like doing field work on a day like this when the wind's gusting up to 20 miles an hour and it's cold and the, the rockets are failing, gives you a lot of opportunities to learn. Beautiful, like it's supposed to be done. 